Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Hello, George, Ruth, Josue, Gabriela, Guadalupe, and Janina. Good to see you guys. And Hello, Rita. team. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. And uh, good to see you guys. So let's go to the lesson. Hope you are okay. And uh, let's get started, right? Okay, let's see. Um, okay, there it is. So welcome back, guys. Uh, this is going. This is going to be the second, right? So I think it is the third week, right? Okay, guys. So let's just remember some of the topics that we discussed in the last class. Uh, what did we discuss? What did we learn, Josue, in the last class? What did you learn? Hello, Josue. Hello. Mm -hmm. What did you learn in the last class? Um, los colors. The colors. Mm -hmm. um, what else, eh, Josue? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, clothes. We learn los clothes. clothes, right? Okay. Yeah. That's that's good, Josué. Thank you. What about okay. you, Guadalupe? What did you learn last class? What did you learn in the last class? Description. Descriptions. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the colors. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, pronoun. Yeah. Exactly right. We learned uh, about the possessive. pronouns, possessives, right? Possessive. Uh -huh. Yeah, we use the, the apostrophe and letter S too, right? Okay, thank you. Uh, Guadalupe, you said most of the contents that we discussed in the last class. So let's go to this lesson. And uh, today we are going to learn about some vocabulary, right? About weather and seasons. And uh, we are going to learn too about the present continuous. And uh, uh, also about some activities for you to practice. Okay, so without further ado, guys, let's get started. Okay, let's see. Can you help me with the reading, Gabriela, please? Um, weather and seasons around the world. Uh, it's a spring in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's warm, it's very sunny. Exactly, okay, thank you, Gabriela. Can you continue? Um, can you please continue, Janira? Uh, it's summer in Seoul, South Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid. Okay, very good, thank you, Janira. Humid, right? Okay, Ellen Nilsson, Ellen Nilsson, please, can you continue? Hello, Ellen Nilsson. Can you help Hi. me? Do you say that? Yes, about fall in Chicago. It's five in Chicago. In the USA, it's cool. It's cloudy and windy. Windy, perfect. Thank you. Can you please help me, uh, Jorge, please, with the next one? Winter. It's winter in Toronto, Canada. It's is showing it's very cool okay we have uh, the weather in canada right that it is snowing in stan evander right in canada and is very cold so we have the spring right we have the summer we have uh, fall too right and then we have winter so in the case of the spring do you like Spring, que sería la primavera, right? Spring, do you like the spring, Janira? Do you like the, the, this part of the year that it is spring? Uh, yes. Yes, do you like? Yes, yes, I like. Okay, what can you wear when you when we have the spring season? ¿Qué podemos usar? What can we wear? Um, jeans. Jeans, right? Uh, uh -huh. We're jeans and blouse. And blouse. T-shirt. And t-shirt. Okay. Um, sandals. 
and sandals too, right? It is uh, here. It, it is not too cold, but in other places we cannot wear sandals, right? Okay. Thank you, Janira. What about summer, Josué? Do you like summer, Josué? Do you like summer? El verano. Do you like summer? In some countries, in algunos países, right? They say that it is rainy, está lloviendo. But here, it is very hot and humid. What about you, Josué? Do you like the summer season? Do you like the summer season, Josué? Yes, Josué? Or you don't like? Uh, yes. You like summer? Okay, you like summer. Okay, perfect, Josue. What about uh, you, Ivania? Do you like fall, otoño? Do you like fall? It's very cool, right? And cloudy, as hay mucho viento, right? Hay muchas nubes. Do you like this season, um, Ivania? I don't know because here uh, we don't have it. We don't have that long, but maybe if you have been in another country, si has estado en otro país, maybe you have been in, in full. Mm -hmm. In this season, no. No, never. Yes, never. right. We, we don't have this one, right, as you said, but in some countries, it is very noticeable. Okay, thank you, Ivania. What about winter, Ruth, invierno? Do you like winter? Donde neva, it's snowing and it's very cold. Do you like winter, Ruth? Hello, Ruth. Are you there? Uh, hi. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's. Uh, do you like? Le gusta? Do you uh, like do winter? You, you like the lines. Very good. It's very good, right? And it's snowing. Here we don't have that, aquí no never, right? No. No, only, no. I remember, no sé si han ido, if you have been in the Pital, I think, there, there is a post there that says that one day it snow, right? Hace mucho tiempo, vi que decía que nevaba una vez. That's the only time. Okay. okay, that's good, guys. These are yeah. some of the seasons around the world, right? We have the descriptions, we have a warm weather, for example, in caso que sea un, un clima templado, a warm weather. Tenemos sunny, que es un día soleado, a sunny day. It's raining, cuando está lloviendo mucho, right? And it's hot, hace demasiado calor, and the clima is very humid. Then we have cool, que es un clima como fresco. Then we have cloudy, that it is cuando hay muchas, a lot of uh, clouds, right? Cuando hay muchas nubes, windy. When there is a lot of um, weather and the wine is always like flowing. Okay, so we have uh, these expressions. I don't know if you have doubts about any. No questions about any war. Okay, cool guys. So let's continue with some exercise, right? So we're going to describe the pictures we have here. So for example, in the first one, vamos a describir la primera, the first one, utilizando el vocabulario that we have study. So it says it's winter and it's very cold. So Ivania, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ivania. I didn't see you. Okay, let's see, can you help me? Uh, Samuel, please, with number two, what is the weather like in a description? Yeah. It, el clima? What is the weather like? Is, um, mm -hmm. Here you have some. Is it's summer. Um, let's see. It's. Vemos si es summer, la segunda. Is it summer? We can say that maybe it is like fall, right? It, oh, it can be fall, right? Depending on the country. ¿Qué description it, le it is a spring. It is spring, okay. It is spring. And what description can we add? The ¿Qué description? And the in Bosque. Mm -hmm. um, it's 
Yes. Okay, so someone said there, uh, it's a spring, right? It is a spring. ¿Y qué más podemos decir? A description mm -hmm. es el clima. Is it a cold? Colado. Oh, it is cold, right? It is cold. Okay, what about number three? What's the weather? ¿Qué clima tenemos ahí? What's the weather like? It's summer. It's summer, right? Here in El Salvador, maybe all the time, sometimes, right? Most of the time we are in summer. It is summer. In the description, ¿qué podemos decir? It's a very hot. Um... It's very hot, right? It's very hot and humid to right. Okay, what about number four? What description can we add in number four? ¿Qué podemos decir de la number four? It's what a is fall. That? It's fall, right? Fall. It is fall and uh, a description of this? It's very... It is very... Sometimes it is cold, right? It's cold. But... Cold, it can be cool and warm. Warm. There you have some of the words that we learn for when we talk about weather and seasons. Okay, let's continue. Now, um, I want you to write a description, guys, of your favorite. Vamos a escribir. You are going to write a 25-word paragraph describing the weather and seasons from our country. And uh, or, or, or a place you have visited, for example. We can talk about the weather of our country or we can talk about a weather of another place you have been. And uh, you can include the following questions. For example, the seasons in the country, uh, what is your favorite one and why? And what clothes can we wear in that season? Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a escoger un país, ya sea our country or another en el que hemos estado. Y vamos a describir el weather, right? And uh, podemos utilizar las the next questions. Podemos utilizar las preguntas. Y va a ser un párrafo de 25 palabras. 25 word paragraph. Ok. Do you know if you have questions for the activity? No questions, guys? Ok. So I let you work. Los voy a dejar trabajando unos... Let's say five minutes and then you're going to present your paragraph. Okay, si lo podemos trabajar en un documento Word, it's going to be much better, right? So we can see the number of the words. Or if not, if you don't have uh, the computer, you can work in the notebooks. Okay, no questions? Okay, so I will let you work. Los dejo trabajando. And if you have questions, you can... Teacher, uh... Eh, no entendí mucho de eso. Ok, vamos a escoger un país, ya sea el de nosotros o algún otro país en el que usted haya estado. Entonces usted va a describir las, eh, el weather, el clima o las estaciones de, del clima de ese país. Usted también puede incluir las preguntas, eh, cuáles son las seasons, las estaciones de, de ese país. Podemos incluir también cuál es su eh, favorita, por ejemplo, en el caso que la suya sea summer. My favorite season is summer. ¿Y por qué le gusta? Because it is hot. Okay, entonces usted va a explicar por qué le gusta. Okay. Y luego vamos a describir eh, qué ropa podemos utilizar. Por ejemplo, I can wear o I wear sandals, por ejemplo. Um, I can wear sunglasses, etc. Okay, no sé eh, if you have doubts, Ruth, or anything else. Y voy a intentar hacer. Okay, okay, okay. That's the point, right? Okay. That's the point. Okay. Okay, so let me know if you have questions, guys.
Okay, guys, is there somebody ready to share the paragraph? Hay alguien que ya esté listo? Somebody? What about you, Eden Nilsson? Are you ready? Ready, Eden Nilsson, or not yet? Eden Nilsson, hello? No? Okay, what hola, about. Hola. Ah, okay, hola. are you ready Estoy with listo. the paragraph? Estamos listos, Eden Nilsson? Yes, the weather. Okay. Okay. My country, El Salvador, have a tropical weather. The temperatura. Temperature? No sé cómo. Temperature is more than 18 degrees. Mm -hmm. I like uh, the summer weather. You like the summer weather? Yes. Ah, okay. What can you wear in summer, Eden Nilsson? Um, or what do you wear? Okay, what do you wear when you are in the summer season? I wear, sometimes I wear a uh, mm -hmm. sunglasses, for example. Sunglasses, mm -hmm. jacket, and uh, only that. Only that. That's it. Okay. Thank you, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, what about uh, you, Carlos? Do you have the paragraph, Carlos? Okay, yes. Um, the last year I visited Honduras, the island of the Utila. The weather is very hot, but it has two seasons, winter and summer. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere is um, people are very friendly, Caribbean. Style the music is tropical and... Mm -hmm. Reggae. It's Reggae. a spectacular place. Okay. The beach is the wine and, mm -hmm. and he has only sunset the, of the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. Okay, very good, Carlos. What did you wear in that trip? What did you wear? Can look you so what did you wear in that trip? Uh, I practiced the uh, how do you say? Uh, it's no buceo. It's um, a snorkel. I'm sorry. Snorkel. Soccer? Snorkel. Snorkel. Is that a sport? Yes. Is what it is a, that? Mm -hmm. Is it a sea? The fish um, um, down down. Uh, when do you, you go deep. In the in the sea. Yes. Ah, okay. okay. It's like a diving, diving. Diving. I understand. Mm -hmm. Say a snorkel. Ah, snorkel, okay. You see the fish and other. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe maybe if I'm not wrong, it can be diving. It can be diving that you go deep in the ocean. I'm not quite sure. But it can be, it is very close to what you said. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Okay, okay perfect, Carlos, thank you. Okay, let's listen to Glenda. Glenda, please, can you read your paragraph? Hi, Miss. Hello, Glenda. Hello. In the country, Guatemala. Mm -hmm. A country very big. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool the frío. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty. I'm pretty, okay. Um, eh, ¿Cómo digo las estaciones que pude? We have two seasons, for example. Two seasons. Wa, two seasons que mm -hmm. pude apreciar. Okay, I could appreciate, right? Ajá, I could appreciate. Es, mm, eh, <laughs> Is it summer? Summer? Cuando yo, mucha lluvia y frío. Oh, we can say that it is like a fall, maybe? Fall? Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah. it was raining. Estaba lloviendo, right? It was yes, raining. Yes. Mm, with a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. y lo que podemos usar... Um, Okay, mm -hmm. what we can wear? Mm -hmm. uh, you wear boots. Okay. Clothes. Okay. Sweater. 
Umbrella. Setters too. Umbrella. Okay. Umbrellas too, right? Yes. Specifically, okay. Most important. Totally. That's it. Okay, that's, that's it. That's it. Very good, Glenda. Thank you. Okay, what about uh, you? Um, I don't know if there is a volunteer to share. Algo voluntario? Is there a volunteer? Okay, Jorge. Thank you, Jorge. Go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. In... I was visit Panama City in mm -hmm. November. The weather is hot, mm -hmm. similar to season summer or Caribbean beach. Mm -hmm. In this weather, it should be used shorts, to cheer sandals, tennis, mm -hmm. and sunglasses. In sunglasses. And, and drink many water. Mm -hmm. Rainy weather, okay, that is, the, that is the weather, rainy weather. Okay, that's cool, right? You have visited a lot of places. Okay, uh, is there any other person who wants to share? Alguien más quiere compartir? Is there any other person? Volunteers? No volunteers? Hello? Oh, Hello. Jorge? Jorge Alberto? I see Jorge hey, Alberto. Hey. Okay, go ahead, Jorge. Okay, uh, my country is El Salvador. Uh, my favorite season is summer mm -hmm. uh, because I travel to beach. Uh, beach. Uh, Can you surf, Jorge? Can you surf? Can you surf? Hola? Can you surf, George? No. 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 Okay. Next time. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. So uh, summer is hot and in the temperature, mm -hmm. but when when I am the beach with my cotelito, I am mm -hmm. happy. And okay. In summer, I wear the sunglasses, short mm -hmm. and t-shirt. Okay, you wear the sunglasses, right? And you are happy with your friends, right? Okay, that's that's cool, right? Jorge, most of us like summer too. Okay, thank you guys. Solo vamos a ver some of the expressions, right? That we can improve. Vamos a ver algunas expressions que las podemos mejorar. Eh, Por ejemplo, escuché que dijeron por ahí, my country have, my country have. Cuando estamos hablando de algún país y queremos decir mi país tiene, vamos a utilizar my country has, right? Three seasons, tiene tres estaciones, tiene dos. My country has. Eh, también escuché que me dijeron the next year I visit. Ok, en este caso, como estamos hablando de algo que, que digamos, el año pasado, entonces vamos a decir, last year, right? Last year I visited. Ok, porque es el, estamos hablando de uh, an experience that has already passed. Let's see, le escuché que me dijeron también, I got visited. I visited. No podemos tener dos verbos. Entonces, en este caso, vamos a utilizar I visited. I visited eh, Guatemala. I, o también podemos, we can use I went. I went to Guatemala City. Ok. So, uh, those are some of the expressions. No sé si tengamos alguna otra duda. Any other doubt, for example, about, about this topic, weather and seasons? No? Okay. Solo tengamos cuidado with these expressions, right? I'm sorry, George. Jorge, tell me. Teacher, es correcto decir, I was visit or visit, visited. En el caso que usted diga, si usted dice, yo estaba visitando, I was visiting, right? En ese, I was visiting. Pero si usted dice, yo visité, algo que ya pasó, I visited, right? I visited. Ah, okay. I visited. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. O también, yo fui que es I went, I o yo went. estuve, I went. Si usted estuvo en un lugar, I was, yo estuve en Guatemala. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Guatemala. Puede ser I was in Guatemala mm -hmm. o I visit, I visit Guatemala. Yes, The both okay. are okay. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay, to you. So let's continue with the next topic, right? Pero eso lo van a ver ustedes más adelante acerca del pasado. Ahorita we are okay with the topics. Okay, so the next topic is going to be the present continuous, right? Quizás ya lo hemos visto antes, the present continuous. 
Pero este lo vamos a utilizar, eh, por ejemplo, cuando usted está haciendo actividades in this moment. ¿Qué está haciendo usted, Samuel, en este momento? ¿Qué está haciendo usted en este momento, Samuel? ¿Qué está haciendo? I, I am worker. Ok. Ok, entonces usted está trabajando. ¿Qué son actividades que estamos haciendo? ¿Qué está usted haciendo? Entonces, cuando tengamos como la terminación ando, endo, ese va a ser el tense del presente continuo. En el caso de Samuel que dijo, estoy trabajando. Sería, I am working, right? Entonces, la traducción que le podemos dar es ando, yendo, en el caso del verbo. ¿Cómo formamos esto, esta estructura? Okay, vamos a utilizar el sujeto, the subject, el verbo to be, the verb to be, and most important y lo más importante, el verbo in, ing. Por ejemplo, yo estoy usando zapatos. Yo estoy escribiendo. Él está escuchando. Entonces, ese es el present continuous. Para hacerlo negativo, if we want to do it in negative, solo le vamos a agregar el not o la forma contractada. Aren't, isn't, etc. No sé si hay dudas about the idea of the present continuous. No sé si hay alguna duda. No questions? Ok. Josué, what are you doing right now, Josué? What are you doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? What are you doing, Josué? Hello. Uh -huh. I am in class. Uh -huh. I am in I class. am listening, right? I am listening okay. to the teacher. Okay, eh, Lorena, what are you doing right now? I am uh, right. I am Okay, tenemos el, el verbo escribir, right? Escribiendo la clase. ¿Cómo podemos decir escribiendo? Le vamos a agregar ing to the verb. Estoy escribiendo, writing. Vamos a quitarle la e y le vamos a agregar ing. I'm writing the lesson, right? Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Lorena. What about you, Rita? What are you doing right now? Um, I am listening the, the class. Ah, uh, you are listening. <laughs> yes, right. You are listening the teacher. Okay, Rita is listening, is listening to the teacher. Very good, to the teacher. I am learning. I am English. learning, excellent. I am learning English. I am learning English. Okay, so no sé si tengamos dudas acerca de the present continuous. Do you have questions? No questions? Okay, good. Okay, veamos algunas conjunctions, right? Algunas palabras que podemos utilizar cuando utilizamos el present continuous. Podemos utilizar el and, el but y el so. For example, it's snowing and it's windy, e, right? It's sunny, but, pero, it's cold. It's windy, so, así que, It's very cold. Okay, those are some of the expressions you can use when you are speaking. Okay, let's continue with, ya vimos la forma afirmativa, la forma negativa, right? Now let's study the questions, las preguntas, utilizándolas en yes, no questions. In the case of the yes, no questions, lo único que vamos a hacer es cambiar el lugar del verbo to be, y este va a ir al principio. For example, are you wearing gloves? ¿Estás usando gloves, guantes? La respuesta, yes, I am, o no, I'm not. En el caso que estemos hablando de ella o de él, is he or is she wearing boots? Yes, she is, o no, she isn't, o no, she's not. En el caso que sea plural, right, que sea que tengamos you, we, and they, Vamos a utilizar el are. Are you wearing sunglasses? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Depending on the subject. Okay, eh, Jorge, 
Are you wearing a mask? Jorge Alberto, are you wearing a mask, Jorge? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, uh, I am wearing my mask. Ok, perfect. Ahora hágalo usted una pregunta a Carlos, please. No utilicemos wearing, cambiemos el verbo. Yes, a Carlos, cambiemos okay. el verbo. Let's change the verb. Mm -hmm. uh, yo se la hago a Carlos. Yes, please. Uh, ok. Carlos, uh, are you speaking with teacher now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, right? Are you speaking with the teacher right now? Okay, very good. Now you, Carlos, ask a question to Ivania, please. Uh, Ivania, are you... listen to music mm -hmm. uh, every day? Are you listening to music, right? Ivania, are you listening to music? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, okay. So Ivania, ask a question to Gabriela, please. Gabriela, are you learning English? Are you learning English? That's a very good one, Ivania. <laughs> yes, I am learning. A lot, English. right? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gabriela, can you please ask a question to, um, let's see, Eden Nilsson, please. Um, Eden Nilsson, are you using your cell phone right now? No, I'm not, Gabriela. No, I'm not. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, that's good. So you see, <laughs> this present continuous, we are going to use it when we are doing activities right now. Para las actividades que estamos haciendo en este momento, right? Okay, no questions, guys, about the present continuous? No questions? Okay, good, let's practice, right? Let's practice. Okay, uh, Gustavo, can you please complete the first Activity. Vamos a completar this activity utilizando el present continuous based on the picture, right? Based on the picture. Okay, Gustavo, already? Okay. Okay, help me, please. Can you start? Okay. My name is Dylan. Mm -hmm. Dylan Jones. I am wearing mm -hmm. a new gray suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. I... Mm -hmm. I wearing new I black shoes. Mm -hmm. I am wearing. I am wearing new black shoes. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Two. It's two. It's raining, but I. Mm -hmm. I am wearing. I am we wearing. Está usando él a raincoat. Is he wearing a raincoat? What's a raincoat? Raincoat is, um, for example, uh, cuando está lloviendo, que usted utiliza la... Okay. Yes, capa la capa, sombrilla. right? Yes. Ah, okay. hmm? Capa. Capa, yeah. But? But I'm not... I'm not, right. <coughs> no le está usando, but I'm not... I'm not wearing... Wearing... A raincoat. Okay, I'm not wearing a raincoat. Okay, very good, uh, Gustavo. Please, can you help me with the next one? Uh, Lorena, please, the next one. It's very hot. Mm, it's very hot and sunny. Mm -hmm. So, microphone. Yes, Lorena. Hello. Okay, there is a problem with the microphone. Okay, okay. It's, it's not working your microphone, Lorena. Okay, okay, vamos a dar oportunidad a, a Samuel. Okay, Lorena, se escucha cortado, Lorena. Okay, 
Vamos a escuchar a Sammy. Es poco, Lorena, ¿ok? Ok, Pero lo tengo aquí. ok, okay. si podemos hacerlo. Hola, hola. hola, Lorena, casi no se le escucha. Vamos a. Hola, vamos hola. a Samuel nos va a ayudar, Lorena, ¿ok? El teléfono ahí. Hola, okay. hola. Okay. No problem, Lorena. Ok, Samuel, please, can you help me? No. Samuel, can you help us, please? This, this is very hot and mm -hmm. sunny today. Mm -hmm. Uh, Michel, okay, Michael, uh, mm -hmm. Michael, mm -hmm. gracias, gracias. Michael, mm -hmm. Michael, is yes. Mm, uh, wearing, wearing, uh, mm -hmm. is wearing light blue shorts. Blue shorts. And white, white sneakers. sneakers. Okay, he, he is um, short. Is one no, mm -hmm. she is he wearing. She is wearing. He is wearing. Okay, he is wearing mm -hmm. a white t-shirt. A white t-shirt. Um, but she. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. where she is wearing a cap. Está usando no. un cap? Está usando? Is he wearing a cap? No. No, entonces, ¿cómo nos queda? He's la... no. Yes, right. He is not wearing, wearing a cap. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, do you have questions about the present continuous? No sé si hay dudas, questions? No questions? Okay, good, guys. So uh, now we are going to practice uh, this activity, right? Vamos a practicar this activity. And the, uh, what you are going to do, lo que vamos a hacer is you are going to choose a picture and you are going to describe the picture, right, with your partner. Okay, so each of you will have to describe, will choose a picture, and then you're going to uh, create at least seven sentences of the description. Then you're going to present information to the class. ¿Qué vamos a hacer primero? Vamos a elegir una picture, right? Vamos a describirla con el compañero. Y luego cada uno va a presentar seven sentences como mínimo, right? Describing the picture. No sé si hay dudas about the activity. No? Okay, so Please. let's go. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, Ivania. Uh, the description is um, all in much? No, just choose or... one. Just one. You can choose one. And it's only of the clothes? Oh, it can be for the clothes and the activities they are doing. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go to the breakout rooms and I'm going to be sharing the pictures in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Let's go, guys. And then remember, you are going to present information. Son siete oraciones por cada uno. Okay. Let's go. Me. Yes. Tell me. Uh, entonces, vamos a elegir una. Una imagen. Un, una de imagen. Las tres, de las tres opciones que están ahí. Sí, exacto. Una imagen. Eh, y decidimos para describirla en siete oraciones, algo así. En siete oraciones. Usted va a decir siete oraciones y su compañero le va a agregar eh, siete oraciones también. Podemos describir lo que está al final. Eh, podemos okay. describir los colores también, lo que están usando, lo que están haciendo. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Perfecto. Okay. Eh, Rita, let me see. If I can send you to the breakout rooms, what happened, Edenilson? Oh, there, there it is. Okay, Edenilson, you are missing Gustavo, you too. Hello, Edenilson, Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo, you are still missing. Your partner is alone. There it is.
Hello, Jorge and Ruth, questions? Uh, sí, teacher, es que no, uh, we don't have, we don't have a picture, but okay. I have a picture in the group the, of WhatsApp. Okay, in the WhatsApp, uh -huh. so you have to choose a picture, right? Only one, okay. and describe it. Perdón, Jorge, no le escuché. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Any other question? Any other question, guys? No For questions? the moment. At the moment, no questions. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you.
L. L. Hola, Carlos. No chat, please. ¿Ah? No chat, please. Estoy es, le, leyendo lo que mandó Gaby. Okay, guys, let's go to that descriptions, right? Remember, you have to choose one picture and then you have to describe the picture with your partner. So uh, let's uh, see, let's find out your descriptions. Uh, is there any volunteer to start? Volunteers, do we have volunteers to start? Or do you want me to choose you? Remember, this is, this is the time for you to practice speaking, right? So who wants to start? Okay, nobody? Okay, so I'm gonna choose you, right? Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see Carlos wants to start, right? <laughs> Okay, Carlos, are you ready with your partner? Yes, my partner is Gabriela Bonilla and Elenilson. Okay, Tash go ahead. Avila. Okay. And the lady is loading or sharing in, in the cave. The dog is Burning uh, free the, the bacon. The baby is cry crying. The father is clapping to the boy and girl. The child. Here is flooding the balloon. As you say, balloon? Mm -hmm. The balloon, the yes. The balloon. The, the, tele, the, the telephone is ring, ringing, ring. Ringing, right. Right, ringing. Mm -hmm. Ringing. Mm -hmm. The children are uh, so. Surprising. Mm -hmm. mm. Only? That's it. That's it. Okay. Pretty good. A lot of vocabulary, right, Carlos? Okay. Gabriela, do you have something else to add to the description? Um, I, I have... The radio is um son is ringing too. Maybe it's playing music too, right? Uh, yes, and the child uh, is staying under the table. And um to the bo the girl and boy. Uh, are seeing the 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 baby is crying and mm -hmm. the and the dog is barking to the baby. Yes, the right. dog is barking, right? Yes. Okay, that's very really good. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. Uh, something I uh, something else to add, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, tell me, tell me. Tell me what you have, Ellen Nilsson. ¿Qué es lo que te tenemos, Ellen? What do you have? No la he terminado todavía. Oh, no, Ellen Nilsson. Le vamos a decir a su jefe, ¿ok? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell your boss, ¿ok? Ok, Ellen Nilsson, thank you. Let's continue with the next group. Can you help me, Samuel, Jorge Orantes, and Yanira, please? The description. The picture free. Oh, number three, okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, she is a teacher. She is writing. 
She is wearing, eh, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Blanco con florcita, white, okay. uh, with, <laughs> white with flowers, right? With flowers, She's okay. Mm -hmm. White with flowers, blouse, and mm -hmm. blue skirt. Mm -hmm. skirt. Uh, he is a, a teacher. He is a wearing tie blue, mm -hmm. yellow shirts. He, he is explaining to Laura. Mm -hmm. uh, Manolo is writing. He is wearing orange shirts. <laughs> Continue, Sammy. <laughs> no, dele, dele. no la interrumpo. <laughs> Continue, Sammy. <laughs> Laura, que bueno. Ah, Laura is linear. Uh, she is wearing wear, um, pink, a pink blouse, um, gray pants, mm -hmm. and brown shoes. Danny. The secretary is wearing green blouse. She's writing in view compu computer. Uh, finish. <laughs> finish. That's it. That's it. Okay. Very good, guys. Thank you. Okay. Tomorrow, um, I I think I have a space for one group more. Okay. Let's listen one group more. It's going to be Guadalupe, Ivania, and Lorena. The girl power. Are you ready, ladies? Hello. Hello, Lorena. They are celebrating. A what is the picture? Life. Okay, what is the picture, Lorena? The first one or the second one or the third one? Second one. The second one. Okay, go ahead. They are celebrating. Perdón. They are celebrating a mm -hmm. birthday. Mm -hmm. The dog is playing with the body. Mm -hmm. The children are singing. Mm -hmm. Que continúa Ivania. Continue, Ivania. <laughs> I don't know if this uh, sentence is okay. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. The kid is looking at the party from under the table. It's okay. Okay, under the table, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the mister is clapping. Mm -hmm. um, the, I think is the mother mm -hmm. is having the cake. Yeah. Se dice teniendo. Okay, we can say she has a cake too. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Lupita? She has a cake, okay. <laughs> Lupita, okay. <laughs> The children is from on the table are eating. Mm -hmm. On the teacher. <laughs> just to add, okay, very good. Very good, guys. Okay, just a minute, guys, para ver some sentences que podemos mejorar, right? Some expressions. Okay, eh, recordemos siempre eh, la, la estructura, right? Porque escuché que me dijeron, uh, por ejemplo, the children. The children eh, screaming. ¿Qué le hace falta de esta oración? The children screaming. What is missing here? Is. Is. Ok, tenemos que utilizar are, are right? Are. Esa es otra oración que eh, pude no, escuchar. No, no. Que, eh, que me dijeron the children, children. is, right? Children. No podemos utilizar children con is. Porque es plural, right? The children are los niños. En el caso que sea uno, the kid podemos decir, the child is. Pero no podemos utilizar children con is, ¿ok? Así que take care with that. And, uh, and también recordemos she es para ella, right? Para ella, he, para él. Ok, basically is that. No sé si hay alguna otra duda, guys. If not, I'm not going to take too much time from you. No questions? Okay, 
good guys and uh, thank you so much for coming and hope to see you tomorrow right have a good day guys see you bye, bye you guys tomorrow. take or care bye bye guys see you bye, bye. bye. See you tomorrow, see you tomorrow george